guy Shane Starnes here with droidforums.net. You know me better as Droid Modder X, and if you've got a Droid 4, chances are you're on an unofficial ice cream sandwich leak. And you probably have heard that the official ice cream sandwich has been over the air to all devices. Uh, except for yours, of course, because you're on the leak and you're wondering, how do I get off the leak and onto the official upgrade path? I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. Uh, Droid Forums user JSN Wetzel has created a Droid 4 utility for Ice Cream Sandwich that will help you get from the leak to the official over-the-air update. So the first thing you want to do here is head to the link in the description. You'll go down to the second part where it says how to jump from an older leak to the over-the-air. And you're going to want to download... Uh, first of all, you're going to want to download this file here, the Droid 4 zip. Now, you'll unzip this. If you have an external SD card, you'll put just the Blur version 6.13.219 onto your external SD card. If you have no external SD card, you'll put the Blur version 6.13.219 and the CRC file into your cache folder, so your system cache folder. That's where it'll need to be in order to find it in uh, stock recovery once we boot into stock recovery. The next thing you want to do is to download the Droid 4 ICS tool. 2.0 so go ahead and download that it takes a while it is over a hundred megabytes I think once you've done that you're going to unzip that onto your desktop and you'll end up with a couple of files here you'll end up with a folder of files and you'll end up with a double click to run uh, so what you want to do is click this double click to run this is your uh, utility and as soon as it starts up you're gonna click number nine so before you click number nine you're gonna go to your phone uh, you're going to hold both volume and the power button until the fast boot menu comes up. Uh, scroll down using volume down to AP fast boot and then hit volume up to enter into AP fast boot mode. And then you will just plug your phone into the computer. Once all that is accomplished, you'll hit number nine uh, Droid 4 ICS fix, jump from one link to another, and save data. So you go ahead and select that, and then you will press any key to continue. This whole process takes about 10 minutes. So as soon as that finishes, uh, it will automatically reboot your phone, and then we'll just continue after this process finishes. Okay, so when it finishes, it'll do this. When the screen goes blank, you're going to want to go volume down and power. Okay, so now we're going to hold the volume down and power. Power down the phone. Okay, so once the phone is powered down, we can unplug our cable and exit out of everything. We're going to hold both volume and the power button here. Both volume buttons and the power. Okay, now we should be able to go to recovery and flash our file. So volume up to get into recovery. Okay, and then both volume buttons. And we're going to go to apply update from external SD card. Select that with power button and then you're just going to apply that update. Now this will take several minutes, so I am going to pause it here, and we'll come back to it as soon as it's finished. Okay, so when you're finished, it'll say install from SD card complete. At that point, you're just going to reboot the system. And it's, it's giving me all kinds of errors there, but you don't have to worry about that. It's going to go ahead and reboot the system, and you'll now be on the official over-the-air upgrade. So guys, that is how you get from any ice cream sandwich leak to the official upgrade. Um, for more information on this, you can check, like I said, the link in the description uh, where you can also get some support there. And then also be sure to head over to droidforums.net where there's all kinds of discussion and information on all things, modifications for the Droid 4, many other Android devices. As soon as an Android device drops on Verizon, it is added to the forums. And then, like I said, we have tons of discussion with people that know what they're talking about, like with developers and um, all sorts of awesome people at droidforums.net. Um, that's where you'll find me is at droidforums. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you there.